So it's a brand new season here on Movie Stop. We start our eighth season today. And uh, we're not going to go to the mall today because it's also today the start of the new season for the Pittsburgh Panthers. And uh, they play Wolford today. They don't play for a couple of hours, but we're heading up now to the to downtown. We're going to park at the casino, and uh, we'll go from there. So what a way to start the year. So let's go ahead and get going. <laughs>
35, Roberts kicking in. Devonshire deep pick. Director of Athletics Heather Light to receive today's game ball are Major Joseph M. Madison and Acting 28th Infantry Division Commander Brigadier General John Pippey. Oh, we got the big one. <laughs>
Wofford tackle, nine, Purcell. At the three. He's such a jerk. There we go,
can't get better this game. Yeah. Really can't. You can't get better this game. Lemister gets the carry. Please reset. Game clock. Nine minutes, 42 seconds. And goal. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Well, that works. That works. very very long day is done and um uh pit won 45 to 7 and it was 45 to nothing for about 59 minutes of the game and then wolford out of nowhere threw a bomb to one of the wide receivers that led to a 75 yard touchdown and um i wish i had the camera out so i could show it to you but um unfortunately i did not i had my phone and my 
put in my bag already because I thought the game was over like everybody else did. And uh, I did not get that. But uh, if you look online, you can definitely find that th that on there. So um, so it was not entirely a blowout, but um, regardless, Pit won and looked pretty good after a slow start. So consider this the first of many Pit, vi many pit videos coming up over the next couple of months because I'll be going to most of the regular season uh, games that, is, that will be taking place at Aquashore Stadium, as well as a couple of Steeler games. I'm going to try to go to... I want to try to go to the home opener next Sunday, but that one is going to be really, really tough to do. But my goal is to try to get to that, but if not, I'm definitely going to one of the games later on. So, But... Uh, so I went to the game, but we are not done yet because I have some stuff here that I've gotten over the last week. Pretty much everything's out of place, so I can't even tell you, to put it in individual order where everything I got it came from. But um, I will start off with the two things I actually have behind me here. And these things both come from Fanatics. These are Fanatics exclusive Funko Pop figures. These are brand new NFL Pop figures for... Uh, 2023, and uh, we have here this lovely T.J. Watt Funko Pop in the Color Rush uniform. You can see right there. I already have T.J. Watt on here, but this was just too cool to pass up on. And just to give, and actually, I was about to show you the list here, but I'll show you after I show you this other thing that I got. But um, that's the T.J. Watt one. You can only get this on Fanatics.com, so I picked that up. But I also picked up Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett has a Funko Pop, and there he is right there in person. There's the image right there. And here is all the new pop figures they have out here. They have Justin Fields, Travis Kelsey, uh, Terry McLaurin, uh, C.D. Lamb, Jalen Waddell, Devontae Smith, Sauce Gardner, uh, Aiden Hutchinson, D.K. Metcalf, Justin Jefferson, Matthew Stafford, and a jumbo Patrick Mahomes. You can only get these exclusively through Fanatics. So I picked up a couple of these. I actually bought a couple of Kenny Pickett because I'm selling them online. I already sold one before I even got the other ones because what had happened was I actually ordered a couple of these on Thursday. They came on Friday. All three boxes that I had in there were dented. So I had to return those. I had to ship those back. And I immediately bought another set on Friday. And they came today. So... These are brand new. These are mine, but I have a cup. I have one Kenny Pickett already avail already sold, and another one available over on my car my Macari page. So if you want to get one of these, I'll put a link to the Macari page down below. So those are the Kenny Pickett and T.J. Watts Steelers Funko Pops, the brand new ones. So let me go ahead and put these over here for right now, and let's continue on here with some of the movies that I got over the last week. I talked about this one in the Quick Movie Stops at Walmart video that I did last Sunday. I did not get to watch this yet, but I am about to watch it pretty soon. Maggie Moore's uh, John Hamm, Tina Fey. It's a black comedy directed by John Hamm's Mad Men co-star, John Slattery, who I did not know was a director on this. And it was only 15 bucks. I kind of wanted to see it just for John Hamm and Tina Fey alone, but... I do kind of realize that this is probably going to be one of those movies that in a couple of months or maybe even a year, this will be on the Dollar Tree Blu-ray rack at some point, But um, because usually these screen media movies usually do that, but I don't know. I wanted to watch it now just for John Hammond and Tina Fey alone, so I, could, I don't know. It could be good. That I got at Walmart. This came from Macari, and this is the French Connection, the Blu-ray version. Now, this is the original Blu-ray version. I've been wanting to get the original Blu-ray version because... The newer physical, the new streaming versions of this have scenes that are cut out of it. There's a, there's a lot that was taken out of this movie. Of course, William Freakin just passed away recently. And these Blu-rays come is are hard to come by. And this was only 6 bucks on Macari, so I couldn't pass it up. I already have the DVD for this in the sequel, but I had to get it upgraded to Blu-ray. Classic film, Gene Hackman, terrific film. Definitely looking forward to checking that out again. Next up, we have Gay Paris, which is a Chuck Jones animated film produced by him and made by the same people behind the Looney Tunes with Judy Garland and Robert Goulet, as well as um, Red Buttons, Paul Frees. I've never seen this movie in full. I've, used, I've usually seen this movie on Cartoon Network in snippets. I've never seen it in full before, but it's on Blu-ray for the first time. I don't have a physical copy of it, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out because I love the Warner Brothers animation. That came from Amazon. These come from Macari, and um, just to add to the collection that I've been building over the last couple of years, Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2, the Project Pop Art Steelbooks for the original 
the original releases. So Ghostbusters right there and Ghostbusters 2. I have the 2016 one that I showed off in the Ghostbusters video I did a couple of months, a couple years ago. So uh, I'll put a link down in the corner if you want to check that out. But these were only about 20 bucks in total. So so I thought I'd pick those up to add to the collection. Uh, next up from eBay, the only new release this weekend I was really looking forward to getting. And that is, of course, No Hard Feelings. Jennifer Lawrence stars in this. And um, I really liked this movie. I thought it was a ton of fun. I thought it was a very enjoyable film. Of course, I had to get a version of it. I found it cheap online for 20 bucks, which is actually much cheaper than it's going for right now, depending on which store you go to. I think Best Buy had it for like $28. I think Walmart had it for like $25, I think. But um, I only got this for $20 off of Macari. So I picked uh, eBay, I should say. So I have that to the collection now. I bought this at Walmart online from Walmart. Are You Afraid of the Dark Ghost Island, the latest Are You Afraid of the Dark series. 12 bucks for this. They didn't have it in stores when I went there last week, so that's why I bought it online. So definitely looking forward to checking this out. I like the other ones they've done. And last but certainly not least, this comes from Amazon, and I used this with some of the extra money I've, I bought with it uh, from the gift card that I had. The Big Lebowski, the Universal Essentials Collection set. This is a really... I had the Jurassic Park set that I got a couple week, months ago. I had to get this because The Big Lebowski is one of my favorite movies of all time. What more do I got to say about this movie, man? It's a classic. It has a lot of great bonus features on here and a lot of nice little collectibles in here. Uh, you get like a booklet, some reversible sleeve with original poster art, specific to authenticity, a film star replica of an iconic scene from the film, four illustrated art cards, just one of the most quotable movies of all time. It was dirt. It was actually really cheap compared to the Jurassic Park set. This was only 30 bucks online, so I picked that up. I had to get that into my hand. So, so uh, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much everything I got this week, and it has been a very long day, and I am very tired, so... Uh, uh, I should tell you that uh, another Time About the Movies episode comes up tonight, but yesterday was the launch of the Time About the Movies spinoff, Flashback, where we looked at the first the, week, the last weekend of November 1988. I'll put a link to that video in the corner as well for you to check out. And then tomorrow, I get a little bit of rest, and then I get ready to do the first full-length episode of the Reviewing Network Live, the official episode, since we did the preview one last month. This is the one that's going to premiere first on, the cha is on our second channel, the Reviewing Network Live, so uh, if you haven't subscribed to that channel, I will put a link to that in a, somewhere on here, because I don't think I can do more than two s specific cards on here. I think I should, I thought I should be able to, but I, I don't know, but if it's not there, it'll be down in the descriptions below, and um, uh, Channeling Entertainment, the book that I've been writing, is supposed to come out on Friday. I hit a little bit of a snag, because I have to wait to, s I have to wait for Kindle to accept the book but it's ready to go if it's accepted it should be ready to go out there so that's why i haven't put the links out to any of those just yet so uh when those when the book becomes approved i will put the links into the videos i did a couple weeks ago a couple, couple days ago i should say so uh definitely be on the lookout for that i'll have updates here on the channel as well for that but um other than that that's about it i am tired so i'm gonna go and get ahead and get this over with the second video i have to do tonight and then probably going to go to bed, so, um, that's it, uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and, uh, I should mention that, I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning of this, but, um, you may have noticed some of the music in the, in the, at the stadium was copyright, was, like, copyrighted music, so I had to create, so I had to get rid of it and replace it with music, so I didn't get copyright blocked on this, copyright blocked on this, uh, claimed on this, so, um, that's why th that video sounds a little bit different in some areas, because so I, I didn't put some of the music over it, so, Hopefully that will fix it, but um, like I said, thank you so much for watching this. Start of a brand new season here on Movie Stop. We have a lot of things to, to get to get you prepared for, including our 300th episode, where I will go through every single movie in my Blu-ray and DVD collection, and it's a lot, so it's going to be a big video. That should be coming up around November, but um, enjoy the next couple of months of these videos, and I will see you next time for another video. So with that said, I am off. I'll see you guys next time, and until then, as always, take care.